Hey witches! Hey, how are you doing? Well, October is here and I'm getting in like a fun, spooky, Halloween-y kind of mood. So I thought, let's play Witchy Life Story. It's perfect. It's been on my wish list for a while and it just came out recently. Right in time for October, I guess. And it's one of those relaxing games where there's a lot of text to read, kind of like a, a visual novel, um, which I know you guys love when I do those on the channel. So you can sit back and I'll be reading the text uh, in your ears like this. It should be pretty fun and with a witchy theme. How cute. Yeah, today's not about spookies. Today's about like cute witches. And I think like Maybe brewing some potions, maybe this guy's involved, because they've got a little bushel of herbs on his back. I'd like to know more about that, I'm excited. Um, so let's get started, I haven't played it at all. We get to start with a little witchy character uh, creator, so we've got different body types. Um, I think maybe body two. I've got a skin color slider. I'm on the probably about there. You can turn. I don't really see much changing. Do body hair, do freckles. This must be elsewhere because I'm not really seeing. I see like one little tattoo on the ankle, which looks cool. Um, what's more? Oh, to go back. Yeah, uh, can I change this clothes right away? Because uh, I'm not loving the jumpsuit, but this is cute. I like, I like that. I don't like the western look. Um, oh, it's kind of a cute dress. The peplum top. I think I'm gonna some very modern looking clothes, which kind of surprises me. I like this, and then you can do like a bow stuff like that. Well, I'm not really sure what I'm doing with my hair yet, so. Let me go back to face. Got hair options here. Um, I'll probably do something. Mm, I'm not really feeling any of these as being. Maybe the ponytail. That's so boring, though, isn't it? I'll do like that long one. I guess. You got lots of different it's the way that the whole body kind of flashes in and out. There's some fun colors too, which is really I like those. I was actually thinking like what if I dyed my hair like a, a silvery kind of color? Like how would that look? I know a lot of girls do. It looks really cool. Um, I'm probably somewhere here. Super boring. Am I just making myself? I guess that's kind of boring. Isn't it? I'll, I'll, I'll probably do another um, character later, that's more of mine. This will be the one that I just do for you guys that looks a bit more like me. Um, a, very, a lot of Animal Crossing-esque options. Hmm, probably something like that, I don't know, the very dark, dark brown, kind of. Let's see, I'll go with something like that. Eyebrows? Some of these are very, very interesting eyebrows. I mean, those are my favorite. And then we've got noses. Ah, oh, that's cute. So I gotta do the mouth first. It's really bothering me. <laughs> um, I don't want to look sad if I, if I can have a choice, you know? I'd rather not be sad looking. <laughs> I think I'm probably something like that. I'm kind of smiling. I like to smile if I can help it. Um, I'm, I'm thinking like one of these two, like, like maybe that one, and uh, features. Oh, you can like turn lips on or off. Okay, yeah, I'll do that and I'll give myself some like cute pink lipstick. You got blush or no blush or different kinds of blush. Um, do have kind of pink cheeks. I can't 
can't change the color of it though. Oh yeah, here's like more face option shadow. Oh, okay, cool. Glitter. I'll just be really boring. <laughs> Super boring. But I think they're wood frames, so I think probably I can get my oh there we go. There's my round glasses. I just wanna look at the others. Oh cute stuff. Okay. Well, I'll go to my classic ones and I'd like to wear some earrings. I usually wear like yeah, I gotta do something similar to that. Flower crown, a daisy chain, a lot of kind of hippie looking options. Oh, and a mini hat. And a big hat, of course. Um, well, if I'm gonna be a witch, I think I'd like to have a little hat. A witch hat. Yes, I would. Very much like that. Thank you. My name will be Jubilee. And I'll use, uh, she, her pronouns, which are pretty much my own pronouns. I'm okay with they, though. I mean, like, she, they, she, them. That's all fun. I just don't do any he, him pronouns. Okay. This me is the witchy version of me. <laughs> yeah, I'm ready. Let's become a witch. Witch Jubilee. Maybe Jubilee can be, like, my witchy ASMR-y personality, like my alter ego. Like, by day, she is Allison, a boring gamer. Oh, wait, did I have to pick the last name Von Diesel? <laughs> I don't remember. I wasn't paying attention, but that's my name now. My name is Jubilee Von Diesel. I am 18 years old, and I have a cow from Crow. I can't familiar name Ramsey. I like that. I just like listening to my gran. That's not true. And people in drama. I like my familiar Ramsey and witchcraft and being me. Nice. If one of my family thinks I'm hopeless, that's, that's so sad, which is why they sent me here. The village of Flora, if it's anything. If this is Flora, it looks so cute. Oh, the Vontis, oh, or whatever. It's a very posh sounding name. Honestly, I wasn't listening all that much when my grand told me. <laughs> yeah, clearly I don't like it. Okay, okay, let's see. Uh, well, I think this is it. Ka, ka. Yeah, the village is pretty small. Do people actually live here? Ka, ka. We need to go to the town hall. Is this lassie? I can just interpret these calls. Right, uh, Grant said something about that. Go, go. Whatever. It was their. Well, I guess it was Grant's choice to send me here. You know, speaking of familiars, I have a cat familiar named Atticus, and I can hear him crying in the background because I shut him up in another room. And not alone, obviously. I sent him to the other office, but he's clearly really unhappy, so I think I might go let him out. Okay, uh, where was I? The rest of my family just wanted to disown me to disown me. What? Either way, I'm here, aren't I? Isn't that enough? Yo, my eyes are kind of scary. <laughs> well, they could have just... They could have just accepted my genius, but no. So I acted on a little, but they deserved it. And don't tell me you didn't think it was a little funny. <laughs> I needed to get my frustrations out somehow. No, Jubilee, that's not how you hold a nap babe. Jubilee, why don't you wear the traditional Von Diesel garb? A Von Diesel shouldn't speak like that. Are you sure she's really a Von Diesel? Maybe someone switched her up, but... Oh, oh. Yeah, I know. It's better not to give them any mind. And they're not here to say things. But they're still gonna judge me at the end of it all. Oh, oh. Sure, let's head to the town hall. The mayor's supposed to be expecting us or whatever, right? 
take it. This is the town home. This must be the mayor. There's like a super cute little cottage with a garden here. Maybe it's a garden. Um, gosh, these little buildings, this little style, you know, makes me think very European town in a Studio Ghibli film. And I just want to live there. Let's see if I could, like, well, yeah, I would want to live here. Or maybe live above, this looks like a shop, I'm going to say like a bakery or something maybe, like live on the top floor, like in Calico, that's another cute witchy kind of game, um, and you run the cat cafe and you live in the upstairs, like, oh, that would be so cute, or maybe this is a cafe, I know there's gotta be, no, it's got a little table and chairs, maybe this is like flower shop or something, there's a stand outside, I should probably stop guessing and just play the game. Okay, off to the town hall. I think this is it. Ta ta. No, you knock. Ta ta. You don't have hands? Use your beak. Hello, I'm Ruth, the mayor of Flora. Can I help you? The mayor? I'm Jubilee Von Diesel. Jubilee? Yes. Von Diesel? Yes? Is Margie with you? Margie? Marjoram Von Diesel. Oh, my gran. Nope. I see. Will Marjoram be joining you later? No? I see. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Grant, uh, Marjoram said you'd be expecting us. Well, we were expecting a Von Diesel, but truth be told, we were expecting Ka Ka. The letter? Oh, that's right. My Grant said to give this to you. You take a letter out of your pocket and hand it to Ruth. Ruth opens it and starts to read. You notice her face growing more and more. I see. I asked Margie if she could help us with our harvest festival during a critical time. And Margie sends me her grandchild, who needs to prove she is worthy of training. Uh, Ruth, was it? I'm sorry, I have had to interrupt this video three different times because of my cat who keeps meowing at me. So, that's super fun. Okay, where was I? Uh, Ruth, was it? Are you okay? I'm sorry. Pardon me. I lost focus there for a little. Are you sure? I just should have expected something like this is all. So you're in trouble. Uh, just a little. But you do know what you're doing. Uh, yes. For the most part, it's more of whether I want to do what I know I should be doing. And then tell me, Jubilee, was it? Why do you need to prove you're worthy of training? Shouldn't you be finishing your training at your age? I guess. Yeah. I can't yawn on command. I think it's time for my morning nap. I see. The mayor skims over the letter. Hmm. This letter also mentions something about a magazine. Magazine? My grand mentioned a magazine? Why did Grand have to mention the magazine? Covenpolitan. That sounds familiar now that I think about it. Oh, that's right. It's a witchcraft tips magazine, correct? We have a villager who's an ardent reader. Do you now? Just your luck. <laughs> it was all a big joke. Really? No harm was really intended. But I guess the... Mushroom tea pushed it a little too far. But I wrote all the spells under an alias. 
Avon Elset. So it's not like readers knew it was a Von Diesel witch. My grand shouldn't have been snooping through my grimoire in the first place. Or rather, Avon Elset's grimoire, even though the whole thing was made up. Of course, of course. So we shouldn't expect any of the same shenanigans? No. And did your grandmother explain what you'd be doing here in Flora? Uh, helping out with a festival or something, yeah? I kind of only half listened. We're hosting our annual harvest festival, the Floralia Festival, in two weeks. As you know, harvest festivals are held to bless our villages and lands with prosperity and abundance. However, for the past, hmm. Well, for the past more than several years, I'm afraid, our harvest festival has been lacking, and thus Flora has grown smaller and smaller, and this year is looking to follow the same pattern. It's why I reached out to Marjoram. I feel like all our energies are just off, somehow. I was hoping she'd help us with our festival, but you got me instead. Perhaps this task means Marjoram trusts you. It seems odd she'd send her grandchild to complete such a task if she didn't. More like she wanted to distance me and the, the family. Sometimes, space is just the thing we need. Either way, I suppose we'll just have to make do. How about I show you around and introduce you to some of the villagers? Alright. Yes, I would love to meet the villagers. You, Ruth, and Ramsey make your way down the hall. Ruth knocks on an office door. Come in. Hello, Mel. This is Jubilee, the witch, who'll be helping us with the festival. Oh my goodness, hello. You look around at Mel's office. You notice all the candles, incense, charms, and magazines. She must be the ardent reader. You must be skilled in aging magic. You look so young. Well, that's because she is. This is my friend's grandchild. I see, I see. Mel is my second in command. She's been a big help coordinating everything for the festival these past years. Yep, yep. And this year is going to be the best year. I just remembered I have a meeting to go to. If I run, I should still make it on time. Mel, it's right down the hall- Mel runs out the door before you can say anything. She has a, a lot of energy. That she does. I suppose we should go ahead and make our way around the village. Lead the way. Ramsey looks very happy. Alright, we met Mel. It's summer, and looks like- here's where the people are. See, so we- We've got our two at town hall. Someone lives here, someone lives here and there. This looks like maybe some sort of store. And someone's here. I think this house is so cute. I'm heading here first. This is the art studio. My granddaughter. Nisha or Nyesha? It looks like Nyesha to me. So, but I'm sorry if that's totally not how it's pronounced. Yeah, she should be around here somewhere. Oh, what the heck? I've got to clean up your mess again. Nyasha's. Everything okay? Ha, yeah. I just accidentally knocked over some paints as well. Oh, I love her. <laughs> huh. Who are you? Nyasha, that's not very polite. I'm Jubilee. You're a witch for the next two weeks. Aren't we expecting someone a lot older? Jubilee is my friend's grandchild, and a witch in training. A witch in training? Don't we need a witch out? It'll be fine. Jubilee is a Von Diesel, after all. So, yeah, it must not be negotiable, the name. Seen as the name, whatever that name was that I... That we supposedly put in the magazine was like a, an anagram of Von Diesel, so... Hold on, I'm just gonna go check on my cat. Just double check that he's okay. He's been quiet for a while, and I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. <laughs> okay, 
Turns out that my cat was wandering around looking for me, and the second he saw me, he ran over, and now he's in my lap, so... <laughs> Hmm. Well, we should continue with our introductions. Sure, see you around. Bye. You turn and whisper to Ramsey. I get the feeling she doesn't like us very much. Yeah. And it gives you an appear for everyone. I don't know if you can hear him. <laughs> okay, shall we just, um... Work our way clockwise around. Let's go to the square, main square. We walk to the town square. It's in a state of disarray. Technically, because I should have moved from what was closest to the town hall. Oh, this fountain is so cute. This is where we hold the Floralia Festival. I know, it looks a little chaotic, but it'll come together, I'm sure. Jonas can be pretty dependable. Jonas or Jonas, I don't know. Maybe it's Jonas. Can be? Jonas, are you around? Hey, Ruth. Whoa, is that a crow? Did you befriend it or something? Ramsey is my familiar. Familiar? Is that what they call pets these days? Jubilee is a witch. Oh. Jonas steps back a little. What's his deal? I think he's afraid of witches or had a bad run in with the witch. Our usual builder injured himself the other week, so Jonas is taking over in his place. Yep, tomorrow's my first full day in charge. How are things going? Good, I think. Uh, everything should be in tip-top shape by the festival. Good, good. Well, we'll be on our way. Mm -mm, nice meeting you. Nice meeting you too. Jonas walks away at a brisk pace. <laughs> okay, he does not like us. Shall I go see this guy? This looks like Shane from Stardew Valley. A little unshaven and just kind of sad in general. <laughs> oh, this is the cafe. Yeah, look at all those streets and the display case. I love it. You approach a cafe. Let's see if Jean's around. Oh, maybe it's just Jean. I don't know why I'm overpronouncing everything. Atticus is bumping into the microphones. Mate, I know you're trying to be my familiar, but... Yeah, my little witchy familiar. Hello, Mayor. How can I help you? Oh, we're just stopping by. This is Jubilee, the witch, helping us out for the festival. Hmm. Mm hmm. Have you met Mel yet? Yes. Hmm. Uh, John and Mel are married. Maybe, maybe it's Jean, I don't know. Really? <coughs> I mean, uh, oh, that's nice. Well, we'll be on our way. I just wanted to give a quick introduction. Goodbye. John walks off and tends to a customer. I think that, like, Jean and Mel are meant to be, like, total opposites, right? Like, Mel is chatty and friendly, and Jean is quiet and reserved, right? Jean can be quiet, but he's a wonderful baker. Make sure to stop by for a treat sometime. Oh, Ruth, you bet I will. Oh, I love treats. Yeah, I do, I do. Oh, God. Ram Ramsey loves treats, too. Yeah. Atticus, do you like treats? Do you like chicken, Atticus? Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye, little cat. He's, he's done being in my lap. Alright, we've got one more stop. Because, I mean, I don't know if we can click on these places. I assume we can, but... Um, there's only one more, like, person here. This is my home. Let's see if anyone is here. You walk into the home and hear someone playing the guitar. That must be Devin. Devin, can you come here for a moment? Oh, uh, sure, Ruth. Wow, this person looks uncomfortable. <laughs> Maybe we came at a bad time? 
I love the beret though, so cute. Devin, this is Jubilee, the witch I mentioned. Hello. Devin is friends with my granddaughter, Nisha. They'll be writing the music for our festival. That's great. I think it'll be wonderful. We should let get oh, we should let Devin get back to work. Uh, nice meeting you. Mm-hmm. Devin shoveled their way back upstairs. I think every single one of these greetings, except for maybe Mel, has been incredibly awkward. I do not seem to be well received here. Um yeah, this <laughs> Yeah. Uh, should we should we pop in here, I guess? I'm I'm not doing this in order. That's right. We do have a store in Flora. Somehow I always forget about this store. How do you forget about a village's single store? You should be able to buy some spell materials here. You approach the shop and try to open the door, but it doesn't budge. In fact, the store looks empty. You should try coming back tomorrow. Yes, tomorrow. Uh, okay. That was odd, right? You slow down and put some distance between you and Roof. Psst, Ramsey. Huh? Do you get the feeling people here don't like which cr Roof turns around? There you are. I thought I'd lost you. I think it's time to show you your home. It's the one with the garden, just this way. Oh, this is my home. I love it. I love it. Uh, well, did I not get to look at any of these houses? No? Okay. I go home. Oh, it's so cute. You walk into a small cottage. Wow, it seems perfectly in order. Our previous witch used to live here. I'm not entirely sure who maintained it, but hopefully it's to your liking. Hmm. It's perfect. This cauldron shall serve us nicely. Yes, of course. Make sure to check your mailbox in the morning. That's how we send in our orders. The garden is just through that door. You'll find all the gardening equipment you need out there, too. Then there's your wardrobe and bed. There's also this moon altar the last witch set up. She used to decorate it with items she found around Flora. I think that's everything. We're glad you're here to help us. Mm. I'm afraid our village door has tired me out. I should let you get settled anyway. Uh, tomorrow is your first day on the job. Sure, um, thanks for the tour. Of course. Goodbye now. <laughs> cool, cool, cool. Yeah, all those introductions were a little awkward. Cool, cool. Oh, why did Gran do this to me? They don't want me here, and I don't want to be here. Getting to Sone would have been so much easier. There's got to be a way to get out of this. Think, Jubilee, think. Wait, I've got it. There's a calendar here, right? Let's take a look at it. Yeah, it's over the bed, but everything's just so cute. You can go outside, that must be the moon altar, the cauldron, mm, my wardrobe, maybe I can change my clothes. Okay, calendar. Yes, this is it. See, there's a full moon on the 8th. Oops. <laughs> it's a little glitch just then. I don't think this is an early access. I think this is fully released, so... They need to patch that. We just need to be as perfect as we possibly can until then. Then, on the full moon, we'll perform a ritual that'll solve all the problems or whatever right then and there. Cool, cool. Cheating. How is that cheating? It's called efficiency. Do you really want to be stuck here for two weeks? Caw, caw. Uh, I don't think so. Caw, caw. I didn't think so. Caw, caw. Do I really want to go back home, though? I don't know. But we need to get out of here first. And the rest we can figure out later. Caw. Yeah, I guess it's time to get some rest. I'm gonna need it for tomorrow. 
So instead of staying for two weeks, our plan is to stay for one week. But something tells me that that's not going to happen and we're going to end up staying for the full three weeks, I think. So let's see. Let's just click on a couple other things. Let's just look. Call, call. But I want to look at everything now. The guests can... Okay, they're going to force us to go to bed. Same thing? Yeah, okay, alright. Even though it's clearly light outside. I will end the day in this big cushy looking bed. Very comfy. It's morning already? Let's see. Uh, can I sleep a little longer? That would totally be me. I love to sleep. I have work to do. Call, call. No. I thought that was a bad dream. Call, call. Well, maybe they didn't remind me. I could have stayed in my ignorant bliss. I guess I should just get these orders over and done with. The sooner we're out of here, the better. At least we only have one week of this. And then we can just use the power of the full moon to do the rest. A two-week task done in a week. And then goodbye, Flora, and a hello, rest and relaxation. Ka, ka. Yes, yes, I will go and check my mail now. Alright, let's go check my mail. I have a little letter. Ooh. Dear Jubilee, um, alright, what do we have here? First across is from Ruth, the mayor. I'm trying to read it. I'm sure it's nothing to worry about, but I've been feeling a little detached from everyone recently. I've especially felt disconnected from the festival. I do still care, but who knows? Maybe some incense could help me work through things? Sincerely, Ruth. Okay, what do these things mean? Detached from everyone? What? Disconnected from the festival. Still care. Looks like Ruth needs some relationship-focused incense, with a pink ingredient and another one associated with Pluto. Oh, okay, interesting. <laughs> so amazing. Uh, is it good? This won't take me long. Gran always blows things out of proportion. Ka ka. Fine. I'll quit complaining and keep reading. Jeez. Okay, except Jubilee. It's Mel's and I's anniversary soon. Mel likes magic. Perhaps a potion that could help us celebrate our current and future happiness together would be a good gift. Done. Alright. Anniversary. We're looking for an anniversary gift. Celebrate our current and future happiness together. Okay, let's accept that. Uh, Devin also wrote us, Hi Jubilee, I hope I'm not bothering you. Could you craft some incense that attracts positive energy? Ideally, maybe something that promotes tranquility? Maybe happiness too? Thank you, Devin. So, attracts positive energy, promotes tranquility, and happiness. Okay. I'm not really sure how this whole crafting or whatever thing works yet, but we'll figure it out. Yeah, none of these seem too complicated. I guess it's time to gather materials and ingredients. We can go to the general store to purchase bottles and stuff, or gather ingredients from the garden. Which one do you think we should do first? Go, go. I should open my grimoire first? Go, go. Yes, I'll make sure to make a habit of checking my inventory and active orders. So press G to open your grimoire. Okay, let's check it out. Flip through the pages or use the tabs to go to different sections. We've got like flowers, rose, chamomile, rosemary, lavender, pea flower, yarrow, hollyhock, geraniums, allium, calendula, compost, vials, resin, sachets, and bottles. Some crystals over here. Can't read about that. Some other stuff. Whoa, a lot of stuff. These must be like finished products. Um watering, composting, growing. Oh, okay. Hmm. A lot happening. Okay.
Okay, recipes, spells, spells fall into four categories, love, prosperity, protection, and healing. And certain spells require specific vessels, so like the little glass bottle for potions, the sachet for charms, the little vial for oils, and the little bowl for incense. And there's enchantments, magically charged items tuned to the person requesting it. That kind of feels like maybe what Jean wanted from Mel. Okay. And then here's the villagers. I guess as we get to know them, we'll further understand more about them. And then these are the orders we have. Ruth needs incense for figuring out her feelings. Jean needs a potion. Oh, he needs a potion for his anniversary. And Devin needs incense. The positive and peaceful. This must be the family herb or whatever, Diesel. Okay, let's start with Ruth first, because Ruth was the first, and Ruth also was kind of like the most important person in the village. So we're gonna do an incense, so we're gonna need one of those little bowls, a, re a resin bowl, and we've got like a heart and some pink and Pluto, so like, this is the Pluto, and this is the pink. So what, like hollyhock and allium? A little confused on how this is gonna work. Um, and it needs to be of uh, feelings. So is that love? No, I don't know. I don't know how to figure all this out. Well, uh, one thing I do know that I need is the resin, so I guess I'll figure that out. So now we go to the gardener village shop, right? Ka ka. Through the door we go. All right. Let's leave. I want to go to the garden. It's right outside. Honestly, it's a little creepy how well maintained this garden is. Do they really not know who did it? Ka ka. Yes, I know. It's my problem now, regardless. Gotta pick water and weed everything. At least it seems like we've got a compost bin. We can probably use that to turn weeds into fertilizer. That should help the plants grow a little faster. I have that. I have a compost bin that I put weeds into. I also put all my coffee grounds in it, eggshells, apple cores, stuff like that. I haven't, um, like, emptied it yet, like, seen the compost. I've just been filling it up. <laughs> yay, gardening. It doesn't seem like a yay thing for her. <laughs> she looks pretty unhappy. Hmm, okay, let's see, I'll click up here. Gardening overview. Use the gardening tools to tend your garden. Harvest the flowers and herbs with the shears. Make sure to water them after you harvest to ensure they bloom the next day. Do the rose, lavender, rosemary, and chamomile take an extra day to regrow? You can also pull the weeds while using the gardening gloves, and then the weeds can be turned into fertilizer at the compost bin. Got it. First things first, I want to weed. Excuse me. Oh, you just click on it and then your your hand turns into the thing. Okay. Okay, those are my weeds, as far as I can see. I guess I'll get my shears now and I'll snip everything. Alright. And then I'll water. Water, 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 water. Oh, this is cute. This is very relaxing. It's the perfect kind of game to just like kick back with after a day of work or school. Stressful things in your life. You can just water your little witchy garden and oh, love it. Okay, first things first, weed. Pick those weeds. And then I just really like the music and all that, the sound effects. It's very peaceful. Okay, then we'll pick, 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 and water. Water everything. Beautiful. Alright, let's go in the middle. I see a little gnome friend over there. Hello, little gnome friend, and a little foggy garden. 
I'll snip everything. Alright, it's all looking a little dead now, but we water everything and it's nice and colorful once more. I don't know if this is behind the pot. There's like something back there. What was this little... I don't have this sachet yet. Okay. And now let's go over to our compost bin and... Uh, there we go. So it's three weeds per, per compost. Oh, that must have been the compost, this thing. So I can make things grow faster. Um, this is a rose, right? Maybe I compost the rose. Oh, it instantly makes them grow. Well, okay. Then I don't know that I maybe should have done that. I think I'll save it for like looking at my recipes and thinking, oh, I need to get that now, you know. Alright, I think we're done here in the garden. So, gardening done. To the general store now. Go, go. Yeah. Let's go to the village and I'm heading to the general store. This must be where maybe Mel and Jean live. Who's this? She was not there yesterday. Oh, hello. My name is Jimena. You must be Jubilee, the new witch. I knew it was a good idea to keep my old stock around. No good throwing things away that someday someone might buy. I also carry some antiques at a premium price. My daughter sends them to me when she's off on her travels. She always says she will visit with her girlfriend, but we'll see. You know what? I'm suddenly feeling very generous. Take some of this resin and these bottles, vials, and sachets, free of charge. Oh my gosh, Jimena. That's amazing. That's what I needed. What a sweetie pie. Though, promise me next time you come to my shop, you'll buy one of the antiques. No one here has an appreciation for old things. But now it's time for my mid-morning tea, so I must close the shop. Enjoy the supplies. Wow, that was really, really sweet. Cool, cool. Yeah, that shopkeeper was pretty generous. But did you see the price tag on those antiques? I hope she was kidding about having to buy them. Anyway, looks like I've got everything to start cranking out these spells. Let's get back inside and check out the crafting altar. Man, I was hoping to talk to some people, but I guess I'll go back home. And see about- oh look, there's all my little stuff, isn't that cute? Alright, let's get to crafting everyone, I'm kind of excited. I've got some flowers, herbs, and some bottles, vials, and stuff as base materials. So let's craft some spells. Ka -ka. Of course, I don't know what spells. But I'm sure I can figure it out from the info in my grimoire. Pretty sure it said what plants match which associations. So let's open it up and go from there. Alright, let's figure this out. Open your grimoire, go to the orders tab to see current orders. Click a character portrait to pin their order. Then go to the plant section to match the symbols from the orders to plants. Click the chest of drawers to fill your available plant ingredients. There should be three plant ingredients total. Make sure to check the type of smell the villager wants to. Okay, so I know we need resin for the incense for Ruth, so we're gonna do that first. Alright. Once you think you have the right ingredients in base, oh, I am a little nervous. Let's see. So we're good at orders. Is it pinned? I've clicked on the character portrait. Yeah, I think it's down here. It's pinned. Ruth needs incense for figuring out her feelings. Then I'm gonna go to the plants. So the rose was the heart. I did I did get an extra rose. But then we have a pink thing, and the pink thing is the hollyhock, and then the Pluto thing was the allium. So I take it that, that means we need rose, hollyhock, allium. Okay, let's try it. Well, first of all, I need a... Is this where everything is? Yeah. Rose. Which I have a lot of. Rose. Is this the hollyhock? I've already forgotten what hollyhock looks like. It's this thing. Hollyhock. Rose, hollyhock, and uh, the allium. Shall we? How do I? Oh. 
Oh, 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 but not that. I also need... How do I... How do I say that I need a... There we go. And that's just opening. Okay, I think I figured it out. I hope. Fingers crossed this will be the heart, this will be the pink, that will be the Pluto. And it's incense for the bowl. Let's try that. Okay. Reconnect incense. And it's very pretty. Let's keep crafting because I need to do some more. We did it though. We figured out our first order. That was roofs. Alright. Jean. You need a potion. So we also need rose. Good thing I, I actually did that. Okay. We need another rose. We also need the orange thing, which would be the calendula. And then we need the female symbol. Hollyhock. Ooh, we're gonna run out of hollyhock after this. Certainly hope that Devin didn't need any hollyhock. Okay, and it's a potion. Potions need to go in the glass bottle, which is what we already have up. So, okay, let's make Jean's potion. And it's a happy love potion. Oh, it's so pretty. It's sparkly and it looks lovely. One more potion to go. And it's our friend Devin. I think Devin's like my favorite character. So I love that they play guitar and got a beret. Okay, so we're looking for the shield symbol, something blue, and this symbol. Okay. So, what connects the shield? Rosemary, which is here. The blue was the pea, uh, pea flower, I know that. And this symbol will be yarrow. Yarrow, that's yarrow. And it needs to be an incense. We already know how to do incense. It would be this bowl thing. So here's Devin's positive, peaceful incense. It's a blessing incense. And I think with that, we're finished. All done. Uh, time to deliver. What if I just sneak in on the next? Mm, that makes me nervous. I don't think I know what I'm doing that much. Let's just deliver them. And then everyone will be super impressed, and my gran will realize my genius. Ka ka. Hey now, a witch is allowed to dream. Let's just get this done. So I want to go personally deliver. I was thinking we're out of hollyhock. I just wondered if maybe we should go add some fertilizer. Ka ka. Wait, you're not coming with me? I've got to do this on my own. Please, Ramsey, don't make me do it. Ka ka. But what if I give you some tasty bug treats later? I know they're your favorite. Ka ka. Hmm. Fine, I'll be that way. See if I ever help you again with the situation you loathe. <laughs> Ramsey's got a, a bit of a personality. So I'm going to go see Ruth first. Stupid Ramsey. I'll have to make in a special snack made of... Dang it. What a course of course I have to like everything. Whatever. I'll just make these deliveries. How bad can talking to strangers in a strange village be? Let's head to town hall first. Talk to Ruth. First delivery, Jubilee. You've got this. You walk up and knock on the door. Jubilee, good to see you. Can I help you with something? Yeah. I've got your order. Get her the Reconnect Incense. One batch of Reconnection Incense, handmade by yours truly. Wonderful. How exciting. This should help me get back into the swing of things. Are you not excited about the festival? Oh, I, I wouldn't say that. It's just been hard to motivate myself recently. Perhaps my old age is finally catching up to me. How long have you been the mayor of Flora? Hmm, maybe 40 or so odd years now? 40 years? It does sound like a long time when you put it that way. You must be, like, the best mayor ever to get elected for 40 years straight. Now, I don't know about that. 
mostly I ran uncontested. Flora is a small village, so there aren't many people vying for my position. Yeah, there's like six people who live here. <laughs> Though I suppose Flora hasn't always been small. So much has changed over the years, especially the festival. And perhaps not for the better. Sorry, you don't want to hear the crumbles of an old lady. Oh, no worries. My spells can fix everything. This must be the ego I've heard so much about. Though I could probably use some of that energy. So can my gran. She's always all, Jubilee, magic doesn't fix things, it aids the fixing of things. There's a difference. Grandmothers. We are the ones that ruin all the fun. Does that mean a grandmother shouldn't be in charge of the festival? That is a good question. Young people like you give us old ladies energy though. We've got to do our best to keep up. I love this festival because of the energy of everyone coming together towards a common goal. Not that everyone isn't working hard now, I, I know they are, but somehow it doesn't feel the same. Well, for me, at least. Oops, here I go again with my grumbles. Wait, were you only excited for the festival because other people were excited about the festival? I wouldn't say that's entirely true, because that would mean you were never truly excited for the festival. Now just hold on a second. It's part of my job as mayor to make sure others are excited, not just my- I think I know why you've run uncontested all these years. <laughs> Being mayor is exhausting. Having to keep everyone happy to make sure you're happy? That sounds like it. Hmm, Ruth? It's that same expression from yesterday. She looks like she's going through something. Did you lose focus again? <gasps> what the? Greetings, Jubilee. Are you excited about the festival? Uh, it's just around the corner, you know? And there's still so much to get done. W what's going on? I do hope you enjoy your stay in Flora. We're so happy to have your assistance during this time. I must get back to my mayoral duties, if you don't mind. Have a lovely rest of your day. Ruth subtly but definitely pushes you out the door. What was that? What the heck just happened? What is going on? Uh, is this what usually happens on deliveries? My grand did not prepare me enough for this. That was really weird. <laughs> that was very weird. Oh, she paid us. Look at that. We got 30 gold or whatever for that. Okay, next up is Jean. Let's deliver his little anniversary gift. What's that smell? You approach the door to Jean's home and see the door slightly ajar with smoke coming out of it. Oh no! Jean, are you in there? My first day on the job, my client might be burning to a crisp, but at least it's not my fault. <coughs> Jean was in there. I've got to get him out. Hang on, Jean, I'm coming in. You run into the house and see Jean covering his mouth as he tries to fan out the smoke with a towel. Let me get the windows. You run around opening all the windows. Once open, the smoke quickly dissipates from the house. What happened? Are you okay? Jean looks down at a baking sheet full of burnt... something. <laughs> I see. Um, well... I've got your potion? <laughs> Jean, maybe, ignoring you, starts cleaning up the burnt mess. Oh my god, is once more meowing, okay. <laughs> uh, I guess I'll, uh, just leave this on the counter. I'll take that as a yes. You put the potion on the counter and take a peek at John. He looks very angry. Maybe chatting will help him take his mind off things. So, it's your anniversary. Do you have any fun plans? Please leave. Huh? Now. Okay. <laughs> He's mean. 
my other delivery was much better. At least there's only one more left. Was your other delivery that much better, or did something really weird happen with Ruth? Hold on, my cat is licking the wall. Atticus. And now he now he's trying to jump up my wall. This is going fantastic. Okay, I have to finish this last delivery before he absolutely loses it. Why does Devin live in the mayor's house? I'm kinda confused about that. You arrive at Ruth and Nisha's home. She doesn't live here? I mean, this is like, this is just like a, uh, like an art studio? You're at Ruth and Nisha's home, hoping to catch Devin. They seemed pretty nervous the last time you met, yeah. You should probably do your best not to make any sudden movements. <laughs> Hi, um, Jubilee, right? Are you here to deliver the spell? Yep, yep, just let me find it. There it is. It's the blessing incense. Atticus is doing his absolute best to mess with as much stuff in my office as possible. But I need him to sit in here because otherwise I shut the door and he complains that he's not in here. So it's a lose-lose situation for me. Thanks. I hope Ruth, I hope Ruth and Nisha like them. Hmm. They seem to be more talkative today than yesterday. You wonder why? Back home, my family uses these to cleanse our house once a season. It's just a little ritual we do, but I've always liked it. You have a witch back in your village? Yep, he's been around for ages. Uh, everyone in the village loves him. They think our village is a little more open to magic than Flora. Not that that's a bad thing. Yeah, I can't tell if folks are happy to have me here or not. Their welcoming was a little odd. I guess it wasn't exactly what they asked for. I'm sure they are. Sorry, I didn't mean to upset you. Huh? I I'm not upset. You're not? N not at all. I just have to show them how great I am. Oh, wow. What, you don't think I can do it? Oh, that's just... That's a lot of confidence, is all. Confidence is my middle name. Or my curse, if you ask my gran. Oh, I see. I'm a little jealous. Even with your quirks. Quirks? Uh, you seem like a very secure person. I very much enjoy being me. Even though you must feel lonely, not knowing anyone here. I have Ramsey. And your grandmother sent you here without telling you the complete truth. How do you know about that? Also, the pressure of not failing so you can complete your training must be a lot to deal with. News travels way too fast in small villages. Is this what it's normally like talking to other people? Because I suddenly feel very heavy. Oh no, I did it again, didn't I? Nisha always says I have a way of reaching into people's souls and crushing them. Is this witchcraft? No, just me projecting my anxieties. Sorry. Wait, does this mean you are nervous? Only because you may- because I'm nervous too. Nisha didn't tell me anything about having to compose the music for the festival. I just thought she wanted to hang out all summer when she asked me to come here. And when I confronted her about it, she just said, oops, and thought she mentioned it. She what? Time to rise to the challenge and show Nyesha who's boss. I don't think I have that kind of energy. Be bold, Devon. Be brave. But I don't want to be bold or brave. I just wanted to hang out this summer. So now the pressure is on to perform in front of a bunch of people. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh no. Devon is starting to look like they did yesterday. Time for an emergency subject change. How long have you and Yish been friends? She was one of the first people I met at school. In a way. In a way? I would find these drawings slid under my door every morning. Eventually I put two and two together and realized it was mornings after I'd been practicing my music. One night, I stayed up and went for the drawing and I caught Nisha in the act. She'd been making drawings inspired by whatever I was playing at the time. That's adorable. She was embarrassed when I caught her. 
But as soon as we started talking, it was like we'd always known each other. Wow. I don't wanna... I don't wanna, like, force romance on... Um... I don't know. It sounds like true friendship. Yep, I value Nyash's friendship a lot. But it's interesting that that one was pink. That there is, like, romance options in this game. I think you can romance all the single people, so I don't know if that was, like, putting them together, or... I'm not really sure. Just had my back a lot of times. Friends can be great, right? Right, Jubilee? Oh no, time for another emergency change of subject. I don't have friends. That was not an emergency change of subject. <laughs> we, like, none at all? That explains a lot. <sighs> That's fine, though. I'm not great at making friends, either. Honestly, I think it's pretty hard. Opening up to people, putting yourself out there. Maybe us nobodies of Flora should stick together. You know, I'm not usually this forward of people, but I think I'm feeling pretty good about this. Okay. Okay. So does this mean we're friends now? I would say so. We're friends now. We're friends now. I'll let you get back to work. I'm sure you've lost a deal. Bye, friend. Uh, bye. That was adorable. A new friend. That isn't the familiar? Thank the triple goddess that was the last delivery. I can't tell if my heart is fluttering or pounding. Which means at least I get to go home now. I think I'm ready for a nap. <laughs> huh. Just kind of curious. Can we go back here? So we can. How much are these? I didn't actually get to look at how much stuff was. That is... Oh, this is mm, a lot. Oh my goodness. At least this stuff is cheap. I think I should buy... I feel like I should always keep a stock of three. So I'm gonna buy up to what I needed before. And... What's going on here? I have a feeling that- Oh, I've forgotten this person's name. Uh, I forgot their name, but I have a feeling they, they lived there because they said they were a, um, you know, like a carpenter. I want to go to the bakery and I want to eat a drink. <laughs> but I think I will- Well, I wonder, can I, can I go talk to people? No. I can't go back to these places. So I have to go home. And I'll go home, home. I'm home. Delivery's completed, and I'm exhausted. Call, call. How was my first day? I think I've decided people are weird. Call, call. Yes, I'm trying. But this whole fitting in thing is hard. Call, call. I guess everyone seemed friendly, except that John guy. He kicked me out of his house. And before you ask, no. I did not set it nearly on fire. He did. I actually tried to save him. But I guess Devin and I are friends now, because they also don't have friends, or at least not many. And the mayor seems a little... off. I don't know. It's been a weird day. I think I just want to go to sleep now. Yeah, just gotta keep it up to the full moon. And then all will be sorted. And that is where we're going to leave it today, right before we go to bed. I hope you enjoyed witchy life story, getting to do two days of the game. I do really like it. It's a combo of kind of like, you know, like a, a potion alchemy kind of game with a little visual novel and like dating sim almost, because it does seem like we can romance the characters. Um, I'm very interested. Um, it seems like it might be a bit of a short game if we only have like two weeks to go through, but sometimes short and sweet games are some of the best. They've been some of my favorites that I've played over the last couple of years. So I'll put a link to the game on Steam in the description as always. Uh, 
I know at the moment, because it just came out, there's an introductory sale where it's like 10-15% off, so I grabbed it on sale. I'm not 100% sure that it will still be on sale by the time I post this. Uh, it might have just gone off sale, if my math's right. But, um, it's not very much. I think it's 20 normally. Well, I'm not sure if that's so far a good deal or not. Uh, you have to play more of a game to tell, but uh, I hope you had fun. I know that, you know, in my spookies, like my, my October videos, I like to do some scary games and not everyone likes the scary games, so I thought I would also try to do some fun witchy kind of games like this that are cute and cozy with a witchy spooky theme. I like the potions and the, you know, alchemy and all that rather than just straight up horror scary. So there's something for everyone this October. Alright, I hope you're having an absolutely lovely day. I hope you are staying safe out there, drinking lots of water, getting lots of sleep, taking care of yourself, and um, lots of love from me and Atticus, my little cat who finally fell asleep. <laughs> Just about figures, that's when I stopped recording. Alright, love you guys. I will see you in another video, okay? Goodbye. Uh, good night, everyone. Mm -hmm. Love you.